Currently hosting quite a big giveaway in my second channel's Discord. Also trying to do daily giveaways in there, so make sure you go join. Don't miss out. Link down below. Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I've got some giveaway info for you, of course. So, as usual, the first comment on this video will get themselves a $5 bond, so congrats to you. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications because in every video I choose the first comment to win something. And aside from that, one lucky winner is going to get themselves a $100 bond. This bond is worth over 17 bill at the moment. And all you guys have to do to enter is like this video, comment your in-game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And if you guys watch this video and this server interests you and you haven't tried it out yet, link is down below. Great server, definitely do recommend if you like custom servers that aren't too custom, but you also like quite a big grind. Anyways, good luck on the giveaway and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, this is Brett and welcome back to another Runex video. So in today's video, we're going to go over the new update bundle. Which includes a new Nightmare Boss, Wildy Bosses, and much more. But as you can see, taking a look at my inventory, we're going to be starting off with a new Nightmare update. If we head over to the Boss Tellies and go to Next Page, as you can see, the new Nightmare has been added. This map looks absolutely sick, of course. Now, as you know, Runex, when they do add OSRS content, there's normally some kind of twist to it. Now, the twist to Runex's Nightmare is actually the modes. If I click on Disturb, as you can see, we have three different options here. We have global, which is completely public and allows up to 50 players at once. You have the party mode, which is for instances for up to five people. And then you have the night terror, the hardcore version, which is unlocked after 100 nightmare kills and gives you better drop rates and drops. Now the death mechanics here at the nightmare are actually different than other places. So for example, if I go to disturb and let's say I want to go in global, regular mode, it'll say if you die, most of your items go to a death coffer and you have to pay GP to get them back. So for example, if I died in the global instance right now, I'd have to pay about 253 mil. So it is quite expensive to buy back your items if you die, which is pretty nice. So you actually have to care about dying. Other than that, I do believe the nightmare is coded one-to-one -one with OSRS. I could be wrong. We're going to try it here in a minute. So I guess we'll see. But getting into the armor and weapons, each piece of the Inquisitor set will boost your damage against the nightmare and night terror by 7.5%. On top of this, it also has a set effect which gives you 10% damage and accuracy with maces, bludgeons, hammers, and mauls. So I'm going to assume it's going to be very strong to use the full Inquisitor set with the mace. There are probably some other options I'm not thinking of, but we'll try a few things. Speaking of the Inquisitor mace, the special attack will deal heavy damage and heal you for 50% of the damage dealt. As I said, we'll test that later. Here we have the Inquisitor blessing. You can only obtain this from the Night Terror, and it's really good because it goes into your arrow slot and you can still wear the full Inquisitor set. Now this also increases your mace, small, bludgeon, and hammer accuracy and damage by 10%. Now I do believe this also stacks with the Inquisitor set, so that means you can get a 20% damage boost with weapons like the mace, small, etc. Now we're going to be taking a look at each of the Nightmare Staffs. I don't have complete max mage, but I'm pretty close, I believe. Looking at a 73.5% magic damage boost, which is absolutely insane. So first, we're going to start off with the Eldritch Orb. You use it on a Nightmare Staff to make it the Eldritch Staff. I also don't have Rigor or Augury on this account, so I can only use Mystic Might to show these max hits. But using the Eldritch Staff, the special attack will cost you 75% of your special and steals the foe's prayer. When using it in PVM, you have a 1 in 5 chance to restore your prayer by 10% of the damage dealt. Not gonna lie, that sounds really, really bad. A 1 in 5% chance for only 10% back and it costs 75% doesn't sound that good. But uh, looking at the damage, we can hit a 58 apparently. And for some reason, it says it restores my prayer by 27 it says it restores the prayer by 10% of the damage dealt, and I only hit like a 40-something, so why did I get 27 prayer? Maybe they've buffed it since they did the update, but on the post it says 10%, I'm not sure. Next up is the Volatile Staff. So this uses 50% of your spec and deals heavy damage, and PVM has a 1 in 5 chance to deal an extra 65% damage crit. Now, depending on what the max hit is, that sounds absolutely busted. I'm not potted or anything like that, and with the spec on a dummy, we can hit up to an 82. Now consider, that's without a critical strike. Okay, I tried to get a crit strike quite a few times and it didn't work, so we're just gonna move on. Next up is the Harmonized Staff. This will increase your attack speed by plus one, but will reduce your damage by 15% in the modern spellbook. Now I assume this is the kind of counteract people using like Fire Surge with the Tome of Fire Eye and whatnot. So as you can see, if I take the staff off, and let's say I just use uh, Fire Wave a bunch of times. That is how fast it normally attacks. Then if I use the Harmonized Staff with Fire Wave.
it makes quite the difference in speed. Now, I assume the best way to use this is a Tomafire Eye with Fire Surge. I didn't have any Wrath Rune, so I couldn't really test that, but I'm sure you guys get the point. Now, the last staff is the Terror Staff. You can only get this orb from the Night Terror instead of the other ones. You can only get this orb from the Night Terror, not the normal Nightmare Bosses. It's a lot stronger than a normal Nightmare Staff. Costs 50% special attack to use and deals heavy damage. Now, the spec will also heal you and drain your enemy's defense. So, I believe you can use this like a Dragon Warhammer. I assume it works in PVM. I don't see why it wouldn't. But taking a look at the spec... That looks pretty cool, and I can apparently max an 82. And on top of that, I drained my enemy's defense and restored my HP by 41. I don't know if that's a flat 41 reduction in their defense, but if that is, that sounds really busted. And it's actually really cool to see a viable mage spec weapon in PVM. Because mostly you see people switch to the same spec weapons over and over on most servers. Or there's always just that meta spec weapon that everyone uses. So it'd be really cool to see an actual mage switch that is actually viable. Now there also are nightmare pets, but it doesn't say if there's effects or not on the forums. I don't know if that was an accident or what, but either way, they look pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna give Nightmare a try. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have some insanely nutty gear, so I should be able to manage. But uh, fuck it, let's go into a party by myself, regular mode, create and enter fight. I have to pay 600 mil to buy back my stuff. Good luck, boys. Uh, it'll spawn in 180 seconds. Oh, or I could just disturb it to wake it up. All right. So first of all, I want to see my max hits with this mace and the full Inquisitor set. Starting off with a seven. That's pretty... Oh, God. Wait, I don't die this easy, right? Nah, there's no way. Bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I assume I have to switch prayers. That's range. That's range, I think. All right. Oh, what is that? What's happening? He's a groundhog. Okay, I go to the flowers. I go to the flowers. Oh, I just hit a 92. What the fuck? Dude, I'm not a PVMer. What's happening? That should be mage. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, once you get used to the animations, you kind of can understand what he's doing. Uh, okay, I guess I just move. All right. Let's see what I hit with the spec. 21. Oh, come on. 26. Bruh. I don't know when the pillars are going to spawn. Oh, he's being a groundhog again. Go for another spec. And I hit a zero. This thing's really inaccurate, it seems like. And the totems haven't spawned yet. I'm kind of confused. But I think we're about to get our first kill, unless it's going to phase. Oh, wow. That was just first phase. Okay, yeah, this boss is pretty hard. Okay, so after realizing I wasn't going to be able to solo it, I asked Danielle if anyone wanted to duo with me or do it in a party. And shout out to Combat Born and Cup of Tea. They actually came and trioed it with me. And some tips and mistakes I want to mention is you don't need to bring Mage. All you need is Melee and it is advised to bring your best crush accuracy. And of course, don't forget to bring a defense reducing spec weapon like a Stadius Warhammer or Dragon Warhammer, stuff like that. Also, elixirs are very important. I brought an Infernal Elixir for this kill and my hits went up drastically. So as for tips or a mini guide on how to do the Nightmare, first of all, this is an end game boss, so I wouldn't even attempt this without really good gear. But as for the attacks, here's the melee attack. Here is the ranged attack. And here's the magic attack. What I advise is you can't pray melee, and then when you see the range or mage animation, you switch to that style. It seems that mage and range give you a little bit more time to react, and the animation is more like distinguishable from the melee one, in my opinion at least. You can flick soul split, but I honestly don't even recommend it because soul split is nerfed in the nightmare. So even if you see me hitting 100s, I only get healed for a couple health, so it's not even worth it because if I miss a prayer, I'll get hit like a 40 and then barely heal anything. But after each phase, you're going to want to kill the pillars. You don't need mage for this, as I said. Just sit and auto attack them with your best weapon. Avoid the corners with the dead flowers. Stand in the ones with the grown flowers. I believe on phase two, it will impregnate someone randomly. And if this is done to you, all you have to do is drink a sand few. Another special attack it can do is the husk spawns. These will freeze you in place. All you have to do is kill them and you should be good to go. The next one will spawn these little spores on the ground. All you have to do is stay away from them because if you don't, it'll actually make it so you can't run. I'm not sure if they damage you. I don't remember fully, but long story short, avoid them. The next one is the sleepwalker spawns. If you see these around the room, make sure you kill them as soon as possible. The more that are alive at the time that they reach the nightmare, the more she will heal for and the more you'll get damaged for. 
Now the last special attack is the sweep. I don't know if you want to call it a sweep, a swipe, whatever, but it'll spawn on either the east or west side of the room or the north or south side of the room. If it goes north to south, you want to run east or west. If it goes east or west, you want to run north or south. If it does pass through you, you will take a lot of damage. So make sure on the third phase, you are always above 80 plus HP. But yeah, hit your prayers, avoid the specials, and you should be fine. But like I said, this is a very hard boss, so you do need some pretty end-the-game gear, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. There were a ton of bug fixes, QOL additions, and other random changes. If you want to check them out, make sure you check out the forums. Link it down below. They also did some really cool stuff, such as the enchantment chest interface rework. As you can see, it's a lot more clean, very sorted. You can check out armor, weapons, capes, all individually. And I guess you can even search. Type in cape, for example, you can see all the capes. But yeah, really well done. If you guys did enjoy this video or it was helpful, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to come check out Runex, join using the link down below. It is a referral link, so it helps me out a lot when you guys click that. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.